Dragonflight is amazing, but I need to see like a couple of expansions in a row of good content in order for me to really be able to buy in that it's going to stay consistent. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. So I am Tater Tot in game. I'm Jug Zuggin, Jug Zugger. Um, I'm a member of the Legendary Parse Boys. Uh, we're on TikTok, YouTube. We make a variety of WoW content, different things, from memes all the way to informational videos on new raids, new content features, everything coming out. So I started playing in 2004. Five, I think it was. I was growing up in a neighborhood in South Carolina and I was playing RuneScape at the time. It was what old school RuneScape is now, but it's the same way with WoW and WoW Classic. But my friend Steven was playing WoW down at his house. I went down there and saw it. Um, all three pixels of Iron Forge, and I knew I needed to get into it. So I got me an E Machines computer. It was, I think, probably like 512 megabytes of RAM. Got immersed, and I've played ever since. And me and my brother shared an account for the longest time. So my first server that I ever played on back in 2005, I think, was Skywall. And I started a Gnome Warlock. I think I got to level 10. I was in what, like fifth grade? Um, quit it, started a rogue named. Winnesley, I think it was something. I don't remember. And I made my first friend on WoW that day. Um, they don't play anymore. I think last time I looked, it was like six years ago, but I played with them all the way up until Wrath. Um, ended up transferring servers where I finally got my first 60 the day before Burning Crusade released. Uh, it was a dwarf hunter named Silent Sniper. I had my cousins playing with us back then, my brother. Cousins on both sides of the family, so it's a lot of good memories there. BC came out. I remember raiding Karazhan for the first time on my hunter, wearing half PVE, half PVP gear, thinking that I was an absolute baller. And now looking back, it's it's not quite optimal. But just knowing it was so much fun back then. Um, I even remember killing the rares in Westfall and just remembering the high behind getting those low-level BOEs for leveling up, even though I wasn't going to get past 20. I played up until Wrath, which was probably my biggest raiding experience. That was whenever I played Resto Shaman and I raided with a guild. Um, probably the most fun I had, which is why I'm returning to Wrath so big this time. And after that, I had gone to college, and so I just quit playing WoW for a while, but that's probably some of the best memories that I have. So I picked Thunder Bluff because I feel like it just kind of encompasses what made the original classic so great is it's just like very simplistic but very unique. You can come here, it's never too crowded so you don't have to deal with like Orgrimmar and it's all close together. And I, I don't know, the Torrens, even though like the race hasn't always been my favorite, like what they're about, uh, their area, their land has always been super cool to me. So Thunder Bluff has always been my chill spot especially whenever i was playing on the horde whenever i was just like looking to come over and fish or i was just going to the auction house or doing anything that i really needed to get done so i was playing resto shaman ellie shaman at the end of bc uh with a guild on grobulus i had a good buddy that was telling me that he was going to be playing on fairlina um that they needed a resto druid and I said, do they not need anything else? Like, I have everything else other than a druid. And he's like, no, they just need a resto druid. And I really wanted to play with his friend. So I decided, okay, I'm going to swap to resto druid. I'm just going to use the boosty boy. Um, thanks, Blizzard. <laughs> Level it up, get it there, and raid with him a couple times, see how I like it. So um, they asked me to go boomkin one night. I just looked up a YouTube video, looked up the rotations. Very easy for anybody that's looking to play an easy class. And I went in and we just did a lot of damage. And they just asked me at that time if I wanted to switch to boomkin. And at that point, to me, it was, okay, I'm either playing Resto Druid or I'm playing Boomkin, something I never thought I would play. Yeah, I went through the entire Nax phase, got pretty geared, did pretty good damage. And I mean, it was fun. Like, it was a really good time. It's just definitely a beginner focused class beginner facing class and so um i'm gonna be changing here before too long but the time i've got to spend as boomkin has been a very good time so the kind of content that i enjoy definitely is based off of the game that i'm playing i think in classic like the guild i'm in right now is very good with being able to do content but nobody's overly focused with being the absolute best because we have so much fun and raid just kind of cutting the shit that we would know that we would have to be a lot more hyper-focused and, like, not as joking, I guess is the word, if we wanted to, like, 
compete and do speed runs and all of those kind of things. So I think in, in terms of classic, I look for like the community aspect. That's why like even if you're max geared, it's still fun to go run heroics with your friends to help them get geared. It's always fun to level new characters because there's a challenge behind it, and it's not just max level, max level content. It's getting to enjoy the entire world around it and getting to spend your time just like doing a variety of things where whenever I'm playing something like Retail WoW I definitely am looking for more of the let's min max let's speed run because that's just kind of the mentality that's been pushed into the game especially with the Keystone side of things uh, race to world first all of this thing is it's just like we got to get to max level we got to get geared we got to get this content done as fast as fucking possible it, i think that that's just really the the differing ideas is because wow the two types of wow are really the only games i play right now so yeah so whenever i get on retail i would say i'm a lot more hyper focused on making sure my stats are exactly correct exactly how i want them to be uh, making sure i'm simming my stuff to make sure i can do the right damage and working with a good team and different content to clear it as fast as possible and as few pulls as possible where in classic it's more of a yo let's go drink a couple beers cut this shit and have a good time and raid some content and maybe get some drops yeah so old war is coming up i think next thursday it's one of those things that we've been looking forward to for a minute nax has been painful to get through as a lot of people know it's just it being the fourth release of the same raid because with it being released on retail Classic and Wrath, Wrath of the Lich King Classic, and Classic, Original Vanilla Classic. It's just a lot. So with Old War coming out, it's going to create a different area for us to be able to go into and go out as a guild. There's been a lot of preparations, a lot of people main swapping, getting them prepped. So it's been a good time. Uh, and with the Heroic Plus Dungeons coming out this upcoming Tuesday, a few days before the raid releases, it should be some extra fun to be able to help people get some more gear to prep. But yeah, it's, it should be a challenge. I mean, we did the 10 man on PTR and it was pretty easy. The hard modes are still difficult. Those will be fun though. I'm very excited for a challenge on Classic. I think it's like actually the first real challenge that's been in classic uh sunwell plateau was a little bit of one bc but i think that the hard modes are actually going to surprise people so i'm looking forward to the content and i think wrath's been a hit so far so the thing that's kept me the longest playing this game is i love the idea of a fantasy mmo and wow to me is still the best mmo on the market by a mile um even though the retail version is a little bit getting away from like the MMO I feel like it's a lot more solo feel and that's why I enjoy classic as much as I do but being able to still have this game on two different levels and have the fantasy MMO consistency with WoW and WoW still even though the PvP scene isn't that great anymore um, while MMO is still the best PvP MMO in my opinion um, so being able to have that approach and being able to play with my cousin and my friends um, and my brother um, that's definitely what's kept me around. Yeah, it's it's just as a game, it's everything that I look for. And I know that there's areas that could be better. There, I've been waiting every time that there has been areas to be better, so I don't really plan on ever stopping anytime soon. So I think that expanding more on Classic. I, I think I, I love the storyline on Retail. I like the direction that they're going coming back to Azeroth. But I think that there's so many things that they missed in the classic era that they it wouldn't make sense for them to go back and expand on now but with having the capabilities in classic that they do i think that they would be able to make it work especially in like a classic plus format so just being able to go back to ashara go back to scarlet maybe do a scarlet raid strat home do harder dungeons do key modifiers like they did on retail maybe in the classic variety expand more on the lore more things that i think could have been done in classic that haven't that they could go back and do and make it so much better um that would probably keep me around the longest in terms of me wanting to continue to play the game because it, with the state of retail right now, Dragonflight is amazing, but I need to see like a couple of expansions in a row of good content in order for me to really be able to buy in that it's going to stay consistent. In terms of classic, if they just listened to the players and did a poll and said, what would you like to see in a classic plus and just did that, 
I feel like it would be easy enough for them to do, and it would keep so many OG players around for a long time. So, I think that the biggest change in the game, because I played, like I said, in Wrath up until Kata. Um, and once Kata ended, I went to college. And so whenever I was in college, I really didn't play much WoW at all. Um, and then I came back, and whenever I was graduating college, BFA was coming out. And so I jumped back into BFA and really enjoyed it. Um, but I immediately knew nothing about the game. I thought I remembered so much, but I realized I knew nothing because the pace of play was different. There was new classes in the game. Every spec had been reworked in every way possible. But I think the biggest change is the pace of play in the game, for sure, because in the classic era, even though people say that rotationally it was a lot more bland, which is true, it was a slower pace of play, so it gave players a little bit more ability to do things like outplay. Um, where in retail, the rotations are so fast and so many people have figured them out to a T, the exact rotation that you have to do for the exact spec, that it's kind of, I don't know, I don't know the way to put it. It's it's just one of those things that there is a meta in retail. I don't think that there's a meta in classic. And so the meta gaming aspect of the game over the years with the addition of like simulations and all of these different things have caused the game on the retail side to be more sweaty. Whereas the classic players are the people that have really came back and wanted to get away, even though it's still there in a sense, it's not on the same level and the same pace of play that a game like retail is on. Oh man, so raiding is a whole different ball game now. That is one thing I will say that I enjoy. If I'm looking for mechanically focused, hard to do boss fights, I prefer retail. The only reason I don't raid on retail that much right now is because I don't have a guild to consistently run with on there. But I feel like from a raiding aspect that the raiding on retail has been done perfectly. Classic raiding is fun just for being able to go in there with the boys, kill some shit, and get some gear. Maybe have a challenge every once in a while, but Retail is one of those games that, between normal, heroic, and mythic, the difficulty definitely increases, and the raid mechanics are so well designed that it makes it to where, if you do your job, you will kill the boss, which I like a lot. I feel like bringing back a permanent experience buff to Classic is really important. Um, right now they have the 50% increased experience buff that's going to be ending here in about three days. And the amount of players that I've seen coming back to the game to level characters and have interacted in the world and done things is impressive. Um, so I think in terms of Classic, if Blizzard started doing, even if it's not a permanent thing, even if it's like a twice a month um, and then the other weeks they could do increased rep gains on all classic reps or all BC reps. Like things like that would be massive um, because it would give people more of an incentive to play because a lot of gaming nowadays has built the mentality into people that they shouldn't have to grind for a long time to get something. So nobody wants to do the reputation grinds that unlock a bunch of cool things. Nobody wants to do a lot of the stuff, but as soon as somebody flashes a 50% increased rep gain and 50% increased experience gain, all of a sudden, all that grinding becomes less grinding, which is something people want to do. So I think just bringing back community events, doing weekly events, daily events, different things that people can do to interact, and make it so that getting to do the fun aspects of the game isn't so daunting and being able to get the cool achievements isn't so daunting and for the people that did get the achievement without the rep gains give them a feat of strength uh it's just with the direction that classic is going i don't think that being able to stay quote unquote true classic is what is best for the game anymore i think it's opening the options for the players to speak in poll booths like on classic runescape osrs where players can vote on what they want done and when the players vote that what they vote on is what happens and it works really well and i think in a community like classic if you had a group of people that was able to vote on things that they wanted done and being able to 
change the game how they want it changed, especially since it's a re-release, would be something extremely beneficial in the long run. So yeah, I'm um, Tater Tots. It's T A T E R T A W T S S on Twitch. Um, I am part of the Legendary Parse Boys. That's with Butter Dog and Von Dillstar. We do a lot of different WoW content, from memes all the way to informational videos, upcoming raid releases, information on those raids, and a bunch of different insight. Um, we're up and coming. We're trying to grow. We appreciate any support. Um, I appreciate you having me on here today. It's been a really cool experience. And yeah, I look forward to seeing anybody on YouTube, Twitch, wherever. Look forward to meeting y'all.